All right, we've got some excitement at 6,000 feet. This is actually the third little patch I found, but I was too excited the first two times. We've got a gorgeous little patch of chanterelles. Woo! So a couple ways you can tell chanterelles. I know I said this in the last video too, but they've got this distinctive color. Then when you look at the bottom, they don't have real gills. They've got ridges. And uh, if you smell them, they've got like a faint fruity apricot -y smell. I was just running up the hill. I thought I might check it out up here. And a couple gorgeous little babies are peeking, peeking their heads out at me. You know what these are? Well, oh. uh, a gorgeous giant cluster of chanterelles. I am a lucky duck today. Mwah, thank you. So I'm currently in the midst of the chanterelle mother load. Um, I'm always happy to find chanterelles. These are probably my favorite mushroom, just one of the ones that I found the most, and they're just so delicious. I'm not even taking nearly all of what I'm finding over here because there's just so many. It's like every step I take, I see another pretty yellow dot poking through the pine needles. Um, so yeah, it is September 2nd. I'm surrounded by mostly like pine trees, some other conifers. I'm just over 7,000 feet and there was a little stream running through here as well. So apparently all things that chanterelles like in Arizona, when I lived in Wisconsin, chanterelles were more often, I was usually finding them with oak trees. So finding them surrounded by big pines is different for me, but um, there's gorgeous. Oh, and there's another one right, right there, Oop, over there. They're everywhere. This is awesome. These ones are a little old. Maybe I'll take these ones instead. And you know what? I think I see even more. They're everywhere right now. I've truly, look, there's another one popping through. Another one, another one. More, more, more. This is a, really a mother load. Pretty excited about this find. All right. <clears throat> Up at 8,000 feet, found another tasty treat. We've got a bunch of puffballs on this beautiful log. I'm gonna pull them off to see if they're too old. I think they might be. Um, so you want them to be totally white inside. That's how you know you can eat it. And look at that, all white. I've got some puffballs in addition to my chanterelles for dinner. I have a nice full basket today. It's been a really awesome, awesome hunt. Woohoo!